At least 17,000 people have died from the earthquakes that struck Syria and Turkey this week. And President Biden travels to Tampa, Florida today to discuss Social Security and Medicare. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The death toll from Monday's catastrophic earthquakes in Turkey and Syria has now surpassed 17,000 people. NPR's Rob Schmitz reports the first convoy of relief aid is supposed to reach Syria today. The crucial 72-hour mark since Monday's quake has passed, a window of time during which doctors say most survivors are found. In Turkey, nearly 100,000 rescue workers are facing freezing temperatures as they continue to search for people underneath the rubble of thousands of buildings toppled by the initial quake and its hundreds of aftershocks. The first convoy of humanitarian assistance for northwest Syria, where the impact of civil war has complicated relief efforts, is en route to the southern Turkish border with the hope of crossing into Syria. Meanwhile, trading on the Istanbul Stock Exchange was suspended for a week after a rapid sell-off triggered a market-wide circuit breaker. Rob Schmitz, NPR News. Istanbul. President Biden travels to Tampa, Florida today, where he'll talk about points he highlighted in his State of the Union speech this week. He's going to focus on health care costs today. And NPR's Asma Khalid says Biden wants to talk about protecting Medicare and Social Security from cuts sought by some Republicans. Probably the key issue where he's been trying to score points at the GOP's expense is around the idea of putting Medicare and Social Security on the chopping block. Uh, there have been a couple of Republican senators who've suggested cuts to these entitlement programs. Uh, One is Florida Senator Rick Scott. We've also heard it from Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. And I do want to be clear here. I mean, Republican leaders in Congress have distanced themselves from these ideas, but the president is not letting it go. NPR's Asma Khalid reporting. A Texas man has pleaded guilty to 90 federal criminal charges, including hate crimes. This is for the 2019 mass shooting at an El Paso Walmart that left 23 people dead. From member station KTEP, Aaron Montes reports. Victims' relatives were among those filling the courtroom as Patrick Crucius entered his guilty pleas. Crucius initially pleaded not guilty three years ago, but when federal prosecutors said they would not pursue the death penalty, Crucius changed his plea. He faces life sentences for each count. According to police, Crucius said he targeted Mexicans to stop the, quote, Hispanic invasion of Texas. The now 24-year-old from the Dallas area waived his right to a trial and any appeal by pleading guilty. Sentencing is expected in June. Crucius is still facing a state trial where prosecutors say they will seek the death penalty. For NPR News, I'm Aaron Montes in El Paso. Authorities in eastern Ohio say people who fled a fiery train derailment can now return home. People in East Palestine were told to evacuate after toxic chemicals in the rail cars caught fire. Emergency teams burned off the chemicals and avoided a larger explosion. Now people are being told they can go home. You're listening to NPR News.